You shot that video of Rochi Sakamoto in his sitting room on a recent visit to Japan. What else were you doing over there? Well, at that time I was doing a, a tour with a band called Ipudo. Um, I first started doing an album with them, and then we did a tour together with Rich from Japan. And um, I spent about three months out there in all doing that. And um, well, I quite got into the role of cameraman. It was mm. quite fun to do. But I, I couldn't take that too seriously. It was like tongue in cheek. Because we hear so much about British bands doing well in America. How, mm. how are they reacted to in Japan? Um, well, they're very well accepted, especially if they've got a strong image. It always goes down well in Japan. Uh, because a lot of bands are promoted through visuals in magazines. And that kind of approach, if a band is visually strong, it goes down really well. Mm. What kind of audiences do they, do they attract to rock concerts in Japan? Mostly a young audience, because um, after a certain age, Japanese don't go to concerts anymore. Mm. It's like once they reach the age of about 18, 19, they stop going, mm. which is quite strange. Because apart from doing some video footage, you're very keen on photography, which you've done over there. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I think you've got an exhibition starting tomorrow. Can you tell me something about that? Yeah, well, I've been taking pictures for a long time. Uh, I've got a whole pile of contact sheets at home. And I've been wanting to do an exhibition for a while. And this was a good opportunity because I didn't have a, a lot of time to, to get a, a whole big exhibition together. But to do about a dozen or so pictures at the photographer's gallery, which is all the space they had at this time, mm. was a good opportunity to do it. I mean, is there a theme to the exhibition? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've always preferred pictures that are very facially strong and um, very expressive, and that's basically the theme of the picture. Mm. I mean, have you any thoughts of moving into realms of professional photography? Uh, I think that takes too much time. I would like to, but I can't concentrate on that one area. Mm. I mean, music comes first for me. So are the photographs exclusively shot in Japan? No, no. They're shot in Bangkok, Korea, some in Japan, mm. some in London. What, is this your first exhibition of photos? In England, yeah. Where else have you showed them? I once had an exhibition in Tokyo about two years ago. Mm. Back to music, what are you going to be doing musically in the future? I'm working pretty closely with Rich. Barbieri in Japan. I'm going to be recording an album together, mm. uh, hopefully before the end of the year. And you've been working with David Sylvian as well mm -hmm. on his album. Mm. How's that been going? Uh, really well. I mean, we started in Berlin. Had a few problems with uh, the studio, but it's really interesting. There's a lot of different musicians come and joined in. It should be really interesting. So do you think in the future you might be doing your own album covers? as a photographer rather than getting someone in to do it? Well, I wouldn't like to be... I wouldn't like my character to come out in absolutely everything I do. I mean, if... Like, musically, if I played everything, it wouldn't be interesting to me. Mm -hmm. It's the same with an album cover or whatever. Mm -hmm. Variety is much more interesting. What about the video side? I mean, that you've shot a lot of footage in Japan. Do you, are you intending to sort of take that up in any bigger way? I'd rather work in film than video but that takes a lot longer to, to become reasonably good at. I mean, it's not something you can just pick up a camera and do. Uh, if I had the time, yeah, I would like to do that. But for now, you're going to stick to being a, a hobby.